Hey guys, Nike here, and welcome back to another episode of K Factory with me. Hello. I apologize, I'm a little sick. I'm okay though. <laughs> I'm trying not, I will try not to sniffle into the microphone, but I will just let that be clear. But I have done a little bit off camera work if it is not clear by the, uh, you know, the map. So I've talked about putting a pathway this way for a while, so I'm, I'm just going to show off what I did a little bit. Uh, this is our enchanting. Hufflepuff, stop it. So, but I expanded it this way, and as you can see, there is a new building here, because I have decided that, as I talked about before, I used to have the portal stuff over there. I'm going to have a portal room, and I moved, uh, I built, I extended, that's the correct word, I extended some of the stone and stuff to go over this new building. Now, I do realize that this building looks very different compared to this stuff. It's actually kind of more reminiscent of uh, Levitated, that series. But I was thinking, like, it's going to be a portal room. It's more magic based. It doesn't have to look like, you know, your plain Jane, everything else. Like, this is definitely mechanical, like, or electric. Like, I mean, that looks like a factory. That looks like a house. That is a building. So I was like, portals, I'm, I'm going to make it look a little fancy and kind of mix the stuff for it. So like, this is the nether for the warped and I had to make a new pathway to go to it in the nether, but I did it. It's a straight pathway. So I have it going to the warp forest and then some stuff from the end. The only thing I did not introduce into it is there is actually going to be a third portal in here. So I got the nether portal and the end portal. This is eventually going to hopefully be the portal to whatever this place is called. Because now I don't remember. Twilight Forest. There we go. So we're going to go not do that right now, but eventually that'll be that. But uh, there's a problem with that is I, in order to make, <laughs> let's talk about this for a second. In order for me to even go to the Twilight Forest, I need a dragon egg. And I have looked everywhere <laughs> in my base. I have looked here because someone like was like, well, it goes to spawn, which I know this is spawn. But I'm also like, well, what if it goes to zero, zero? Zero, zero is right here. Um, I have dug up. I have dug down. I know that wouldn't have worked anyway, simply because this is all completely solid stone. But the dragon egg just straight up does not exist. I have tried to look everywhere. So in order for me to get a new dragon egg, I'm going to have to respawn the end dragon, which I'll do that on my own time at a different time. Um, but that's going to require me to make end crystals. And I believe the problem that I had with that right now is I don't have gas tears. Um, I could use catalyze and glands to make them, but I would still need four of them. I don't have enough of these because it would be three times four is twelve. I don't have enough of those, and the only other option, you know, is to go fight gas in the end, or the end, uh, the nether. <laughs> and I have not done that because they scare me, and I need more arrows, and I don't have feathers because I don't have chickens. You see where my problems are? <laughs> They're everywhere. Now, I will say, so I moved the end portal, um, but as I forethought, the, uh, the, the frames are movable, but the portal is not. <laughs> so... I just hit it. It's fine. Just don't think about it. So that's why this is like this. I've also been uh, ex not excavating, but trying to make the walls look a little bit more natural. Not so much here. I only did a little bit because of this problem here. But uh, up there, as you can see, I kind of made it look that way. I don't. I know it's not perfect because it's still very. Um, how do I? I want to say line e, and I know that's not a word, but that's what I'm gonna use. Um, I think I need to add more depth to it, but there is going to be more, hello, more depth to it eventually because I do have to go back out there. But anyway, um, I made that path so that way I can use this more often instead of going all the way around if I don't want to. I need to harvest my sugar cane. Um, and I th think that's about it towards that stuff. Now, I've been also smelting a bunch of ores that I've been carrying around, even though I said I wouldn't do that, but I didn't have anything else to do, so... We're going to go ahead for this episode. I know we talked about, well, first of all, actually, in the factory, we talked about doing the diesel power. I am going to mark that as complete because we have constantly supplied our diesel generator with diesel power for a long time now. I've been checking on it. The only thing is, I believe it was m pumpkin seeds that I ran low on, but that's simply because I built a lot more tanks to be filled, so it was creating more. But this should be actually... Yeah, that was empty before, so uh, it's filled back up since then. Though I do think I also turned the generator off, which is not helpful. 
Um, yeah, we're gonna turn that back on. But I added a lot more fluid tanks, so it was focused on filling those, which is why it wasn't uh, doing it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back there and put that back there. Okay. So but that's all I'm gonna check off for there. You're missing two other things: auto steel and arc furnace. But I'm not gonna bother with that this episode because I really want to. And I talked about this last episode. Oh yeah, I got more food stuff. Um, yeah, experience. Um. Wanted to start working on storage, because now we have a good supply of energy. All I have to do is, like, at some point have the power lines be going either underground or above ground, whichever way I decide to do it at the end. Um, but eventually just have all of my stuff into a nice little storage system, so that way I'm not having to... <laughs> I know I don't actually have that much stuff in general, but um, this already is annoying to have to use drawers all of the time, and it would be so nice to actually be able to craft in the storage system rather than having to bring it to the crafting table and not remembering what I'm doing because that's how short my, my brain span goes. So we're going to go ahead and start this. Now this is not ME systems, this is simple storage network so actually it should be a little easier than an ME system. I just haven't done it in a while but it's probably should teach us. So first steps first, basic cable for connecting other more useful cables together. <laughs> Let's start with that. So a network cable is pretty easy, it's just stone slabs and iron ingots and I do have Stone, I made sure it's actually going straight into my <laughs> dank because I have it in there. So let's go ahead and craft this super quick. I don't know why I grabbed six. Uh, my brain said I needed six. That'll bring us to eight network cables. I'm probably going to need more eventually, but for now we're just going to stick with that. And that's going to give us the network guidebook, which should help us learn some things. Yep. So simple storage network will manage all of your inventory scene, getting started or look up an item. So there's a bunch of stuff. If we look at getting started, we have chunks. So this will talk about chunks. I'm not going to sit here and read this all right now because that's a lot of words for my brain to process. Especially when I'm sick. So, <laughs> um, I've also been baking cookies all day today just as an FYI because it's Christmas time. Anyway, storage inventory. So there's a couple different uh, links and cables and stuff. You have import, filtered, link, link cable, I'm not sure what the link does yet, export cable, storage inventory. I'm gonna go into straight into storage inventory. We're also gonna have to go into storage network so we can actually get into controllers and stuff. So actually I'm gonna go straight down, storage network roots. So heart of the network. We're gonna need blocks of red, just quartz, blocks of quartz, network cables, and diamond. And I should have all of that. Are you, nope, you're dolomite. Where did I put uh, blocks of quartz? Oh, I don't have enough quartz. We're going to take a quick trip to the nether. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have enough quartz. And I also completely forgot that I moved my nether portal <laughs> in the short amount of time. I hope you guys like this building. Um, I finished building it, hated it, and then started to slowly like it once I stopped looking at it. So, <laughs> And now I've gotten used to it, and I think it looks really pretty. It's a bunch of blocks that I don't usually put together, which I think was my problem. But cause I actually thought about changing out the end stone for wood, but when I started to do that... Also, I am so glad that another portal hooks up, because I would be so upset if it didn't. But anyway, so this is the path straight to the warp forest. So we're actually, I think, going to run that way. Do we want to run that way? Or we run? This brings me to uh, another... <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Netherrack. Netherrack quicker. That's a ghast. Let's avoid. I know I need gas steers, but I don't have a bow, and I'm also not. Ha I didn't bother to bring um, ender pearls. The heck is happening? Why am I frozen? Why did it do the creepy song? I'm not happy about this. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and grab some nether quartz from down here. Eventually, I'll probably just do a mining nether trip at some point. Like, I probably won't. This. Turn my magnet on. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Now I do need four things in nether quartz. And I'm probably actually going to need a lot of nether quartz in general. So let's just get what we can. Without making this the whole episode. <laughs> okay. I probably... Do I even have fortune on here? I don't. I never thought about it because I get ore so frequently in the overworld. Just by mining. Okay. 20. 
28, 29, 30. Getting some more. Good vein, good vein. Very good vein. It just keeps going. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it ever gonna end? Let's go ahead. I have a uh, 44. Let's get a stack and just see how far that gets us. So I just need uh, 20 more. Do, do, do. 47. Let's see. That's gold. I don't need gold. Oop, there's some right here. We'll just get the rest of this vein. I think this will cover it. Oh, I'm four short. Um, you know what? I don't need the extra one. Or I could just grab what's over here. It doesn't really matter now, does it? Grab that. That's two more. Ooh, no! I don't like you. Don't hit me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I already had to fight you guys before and I don't like it. It's not fun! Mm. Let's go. Oh, he lost track of me. Thank gosh. Okay. Let's go home. Let's just quickly run down here and go home. <laughs> ah, it's one of those things I never have gotten used to, uh, piglins or, or whatever they're called yet, because I don't- I haven't actually played, uh, vanilla Minecraft since, uh, well, I I've played it since, but I haven't played it properly, like, actually just, like, go throughout and learn everything since the ocean update, <laughs> so I don't know a lot. <laughs> so I'm so glad. Alright, hopefully this will be enough for now, because I know I need four just for this, but I might need more for other stuff, but I'm not sure yet. Please don't crash. Thank you. Okay. Now I could go through here. And I was lagging there, so don't- for the-, the that wasn't your computer, that was me. Okay. So let's go ahead and do- I'm gonna just grab four, because I don't know if I would need the plank quartz for anything, and I'm not gonna risk that. I'm also gonna toss this into here. Yeah. Okay. And a diamond, that's what I'm missing. Okay. And boop. So I put the diamond in the middle, network cables here, and like this, and then that's a storage network root. Get that back. Okay. So that'll give us a compacting drawer for whatever reason I don't need that. I'm gonna just put that in here. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what I need that for. So heart in the network, that leads us down to the controller. So heart of the refined storage network. So this we're going to need our storage network root, which is what we have. We need silicon. Now to make silicon, this is why I did this. Okay, so to make silicon, you have to smelt nether quartz. And then we're also going to need quartz enriched iron, which takes even more quartz. Okay. And then a advanced processor, which is going to take silicon, a uh, redstone diamond, and a processor binding. Processor binding is just slime and some string, which I should have all of that. I'm very tempted just to move the crafting table over here. It is very tempting. One, two, three, and then I'm actually just going to hold all of this so that way I know how much exactly that I have. So I need to smelt four of these. Just real, excuse me, real quick. <laughs> Uh, I've been, I'm just smelting everything. I know this is not efficient, but it's efficient for me. Because that means I don't have to look at it. Um, so let's do this. Quartz of rich iron. Okay, and that's all I needed for this for now. No, I need a diamond and... Ooh, and I needed an actual extra. Well, I'll take two extra, because that's what I threw in there. Diamond, redstone, right? How quickly I forget things. Yes, and then I have the composite binding, or processor binding. I don't know where composite came from, don't ask me. And then, one, just one more. Thank you. Well, actually, I need more than that, but that's okay. Because this goes like this. Yep. And then I have to smelt this as well, I believe. Yeah. Downside of using my furnaces. I'm using my furnaces. <laughs> when I need them the most. I literally was thinking, I'm like, I never use my furnaces. I don't, I'll just fill them up with stuff. I've been using them. <laughs> so enriched iron and then silicon. Yep, controller. Now you see this is empty of energy, which is perfectly fine as of right now. 
So I'm going to get a flux point. So it provides energy to the adjacent blocks, actively removing energy from your flux network. Okay, so this is actually, I don't have to have fire lines everywhere. I can use a flux. And then a wrench. Thanks. <laughs> so I have a controller. Now with the controller, I'm going to need a couple different things. I need a crafting monitor, a fluid grid. A disk drive is the main thing, is actually what I need. This drive is going to take a couple more of the same thing. I'm also going to need a machine casing, which is going to just take some limestone and some quartz enriched iron. So actually, I'm just going to go grab a stack of iron real quick. I'm going to need a lot of that. And I should probably just go ahead and start just smelting just a lot of nether quartz. So we'll just smelt 20 of that and just let that keep going for a little bit. So I have this. I now have the iron. I'm going to need a lot of this. I'm going to make just eight for now, because I know I'm going to need a lot more in the future. Okay. Um, more of everything. So diamond and redstone. It's for that, and then I need a chest. Should have it. Yep, I have plenty of extra in there. And then a machine casing, which is just going to take some limestone. Where's my limestone? That's dolomite. Limestone. I want to think it would take cobble. It was taking everything, so... <laughs> take a limestone. So actually, we'll see right now, because I only made eight of these, and I'm going to need more. Doesn't take cobbled. Will it take non-cobbled? Yes. Alright, machine casing. going to need some more of the... Quartz enriched iron. Let's see what I got smelted. I got nine of those. Okay. Diamond processor binding redstone silicon. Gotta smelt that. That in here. And then disk drive. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm missing. Can I have it? Thank you. Disk drive. Okay, cool. Yay, drives. So that's some important stuff out of the way. So that'll give me a 1k storage disk, which is not a lot, uh, but I'll take it. So insert storage disk into it and have a digital storage. You can also set a priority for it. So basically, this will just hold a thousand items. Uh, the thing that I do like about refined storage over ME systems is it doesn't limit you to 63 items per thing. You just have X amount of items in general. So that's really nice. So, but I'm going to need a couple different things. I don't need the pattern grade right now, but that'll be coming in handy in the future. What I do need is a storage inventory storage request table. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Uh, I do know I need crafting monitor. So it lets you monitor crafting processes things crafters are currently making. Or is it the... Uh. Oh, and integrates crafting grid into the table. Okay, that's what I thought. So I need a storage inventory. It allows you to see, pull, and insert items from all connected inventories. Okay. So this is just network cable, some iron nuggets, as well as a... I believe that was a dropper? I'm about to double check that. Yep, dropper, which is just cobblestone and a piece of redstone. Super easy. Grab some cobblestone on my inventory. Do, do, do. And then I believe it was the nuggets on the edges and the cables in the middle. Yep, cool. And that'll give us a stack upgrade to increase the stack size of task. I don't know what that does yet, but I'll follow that up later. <laughs> it integrates crafting grid into the table. So this is what we want. So it takes a storage inventory plus some gold and some crafting tables, which is actually much easier than I thought it would be for some reason. So let's go ahead and grab four pieces of gold. And then some craft. Do I have extra crafting tables? I do not, but that's okay. Because it's super easy to do. Crafting table is just a crafting table. Alright, and then we do this. Yay! And that'll give us network cables. No, I don't have to make any more because I was worried about that. Okay. So now the question is, is how is this set up exactly? Now I do have my network guide book. And network setup. So a short guide to get getting started with simple storage network. Once you gather some ingredients, some link cables, and a network route, 
your network is running once these are placed in your world. The link tables connect a chest or other inventory to your network. For access, look into remotes or tables. Try using bookmarks feature. I don't want to. So it just requires a network root, which I did just make a controller. I'm not sure if I actually require having that anymore, but we shall see. Chunks, priority. Well, that was just the getting started. Let's see. Cables, blocks. Storage request table. Views the network inventory full access to scroll, withdraw and deposit items, custom crafting grid that pulls ingredients from the network, see the remote version here. Alright, I'm just gonna start smacking things down. Controller. That. No, I can't click anything until I have energy. Provides energy to adjacent blocks actively remote. So I need to actually start getting a little bit into flux networks. I believe. Which is actually interesting because I haven't done much with flux before. I remember Haley used to do... She was good at this. Basic flux storage, so storage energy for your flux network. Okay, so I have to have these in order to have a flux network. And in order to make those, I just need glass, but also flux blocks. Flux blocks is made with flux dust, which says it's obtained by compressing redstone with dust with bedrock and obsidian. Uh. So bedrock, place the redstone dust and have the obsidian above it, and if I like click it, it'll do that. Or I can put it into the mixing table and not cause so many issues. Okay. <laughs> and then the flux core is just, so I'm going to need a lot of obsidian and then a lot of this in order to do that. Or, like I said before, I could just have, you know, power cables everywhere. Cable used to link other inventories to the network. Use it to connect storage, drawer controller, and a few diamond chests, and you'll set at least until you want auto crafting. Set priority or filter items. You need filter link cables, though. Okay. So this is saying basically, as long as I think it said to the drawer controller, I can put this here and not have to move anything, and it would connect all of this automatically, if I'm understanding that correctly. Um, which would actually be kind of cool. Now, I was really hoping just to have the computer. Um, but I think I can get to that at some point. But I have to be able to get energy to it first. But we're going to have to wait until next episode to do that. So I'm going to do a little bit of research. Because like I said, I've done Simple Storage Network before. I just don't remember much. Because I remember it being much simpler. <laughs> Unless I'm just misremembering. Or something's changed since I've done it last. So, But I'm going to read up on this book a little bit. Maybe look up some tutorials in general, because this book doesn't seem to be too in-depth. That's okay. So, we'll do that all next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any tips, tricks, or anything like that, please put it down in the comments below, because I always greatly appreciate it. Um, I am well aware that we are 45 episodes into this pack, and I have only really completed two chapters, but also not really, because I haven't done the automatic stuff as much. I am planning on not rushing through the finish rest of the pack but trying to speed up some things a little bit because uh, what I started the series January 6th and as of right now it is January 22nd or just nah, December 22nd of the same year so <laughs> it's been a long time I'm still really enjoying the pack though this has a lot more to do with like I've been in school so and not been able to do a lot of stuff off camera like I would prefer to do but I'm still having a lot of fun with it there's just some things that I think we can Maybe speed up a little bit off camera. Or even on camera. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'm sick and it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I need to go to bed. So, <laughs> and I'll stop rambling now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.